I'm Terry Harrison. I'm going to show you how to paint a typical English country cottage. This features in my book, Rustic Buildings and Barns. I've already done the drawing and I've applied the masking fluid. So the first stage with the painting is the sky. So we're going to start with the large brush, which is the golden leaf brush and wet the sky area with some clean water. So you paint up to the edge of the roof with some ultramarine. Drop in the blue into the wet. Leave little gaps for the clouds. So a cloud at the top and then just wash down into that wet. Ultramarine and a touch of burnt umber. So it gives us a, a greyish colour and not too dark and just drop that colour on the underside of the clouds. While the sky is drying, we just move to a, another part of the painting. So we drop down to the foreground. So with some raw sienna, fairly light, put that into the foreground, bring that along underneath the wall. Then with some burnt sienna and a touch of shadow, so just tone that down just a little bit and just drop that wet into wet in the foreground. Some burnt sienna, just touch that into the wall and touch of raw sienna just to add a bit more colour. Then the colour shadow and just drop that into the wall just to give it a bit more texture. Then allow that to dry. The next stage is going to be the thatch roof. Uh, now, thatch roofs are rarely yellow. Um, they're only that uh, yellowy colour when they're first thatched. Within weeks they start to go grey and uh, they, they definitely change colour quite, quite early on. So, I'm going to start with some raw sienna. It's not what you think. It's not all going to be this colour. It's, this is just an undercoat and when I put the other colour on top, this warm yellowy colour will create the illusion of sunlight on the thatch. So just put that in first. While that's still wet, we then mix up a warm grey colour, ultramarine, with some burnt umber. Just try a little bit of burnt sienna as well. And start to wash that over the roof. So fairly dark down the side. Bring that down to the bottom of the roof. Change the colour slightly. I'm going to put a little bit more burnt sienna into that. So with that grey colour, run that along the top of the roof, then pull that colour down over the raw sienna. Just streak the brush in the direction that the thatch lies. Then with a darker colour, so ultramarine, burnt umber, this time we're going to introduce the colour shadow. and just put a darker colour on the, the dormer window. So you've got this raised part of the thatch comes out of the roof and creates the, the dormer for the window. Make that just a bit darker on there. So this is all done wet into wet. Thank you. 
and then allow that to dry. The next stage is the, uh, the greenery, the foliage, the trees at the back of the cottage. So we're going to start with the tree trunk and branches. I'm going to use a dark colour which is country olive and burnt umber. And first just paint in these branches and twigs using the half rigger. Another branch coming out here. Now you don't have to put too much detail on this because I'm going to stipple some foliage over the top of it just to fill that in. Then with the fan stippler, start with a, a light colour first, which is sunlit green, and just put a little bit of colour on the top of those trees. Slightly darker with some country olive. Just add some cobalt blue into that just to change the colour slightly. And stipple. Just touch the brush onto the paper to create that texture. Some cobalt blue. Then a darker colour which is midnight green. And bring that down in front of the hollyhocks. Down towards the cottage. Change the colour again. Put in a little bit of cadmium yellow into there. And to protect the cottage, use a piece of paper as a mask and stipple like that. Some raw sienna into there. Sunlit green, paint over the, uh, the fence, slightly darker colour, again bring that forward. But behind this fence here I want to have that really quite dark, so it's a midnight green. So when I remove the masking fluid I've got a good contrast between the light and dark, so you put the dark in along the garden path. A touch of burnt sienna just to change the colour slightly. A different colour just coming in there to break that up a little bit. And a similar colour at the back. I'm going to change the brush now to the, the foliage brush which is the same bristle and hair mix as the fan stippler. And stipple. So we have a light colour, like that, then with a darker colour, if the sunlight's coming in this direction, from the left through to the right, you put the darker shade on the right hand part of the bush. Fairly dark coming up here. Over the window, put some of that over here. Midnight green and ultramarine, so it's a, a bluey dark colour. Pale green, this is country olive watered down, just get rid of the white. With the dark midnight green, put in the border plants. 